I'm Lisa Louise Cook, and this is Genealogy Gems. Today we're going to talk about Evernote for genealogy. You know, these days, Evernote is the tech tool of choice for genealogists who want to capture, organize, and store their research notes. Well, every time I teach a class on using Evernote for genealogy, there's a round of excited follow-up questions. And today, we're going to take some time to answer some of the most common questions that I know that all of you have. So let's start off with two great questions that I received recently from Karen, and she listens to the Genealogy Gems podcast. She wrote, the handwriting app on my phone is way cool, yet Evernote doesn't seem to recognize any of the words that I thought it would by applying OCR to the handwriting. Is that just a premium feature? Well, Karen's asking about premium version of Evernote, which you pay for. But OCR is optical character recognition. That's what allows Evernote to read the text that appears in your images and your web clippings. It can read handwriting, but the key is to print clearly. OCR cannot read cursive. Also, if you've created your handwritten note and then immediately tried to search for the keyword and the note was printed clearly, it may not have found it because you actually searched for it before Evernote had an opportunity to synchronize through the cloud and apply the OCR. So if you're in a hurry, the trick is to click the sync button in Evernote. And also premium accounts do sync and apply OCR a little bit faster than the free ones do. Now here's Karen's second question. My husband has a single note file that he has been putting all of his daily notes into for years, currently about 14 megabytes. Once he's uploaded that file, then when he makes additional notes to it each day, is that going to be charged to his account uh, for the entire file being saved again or just the incremental portion? Good question. No, he won't be using 14 megabytes of upload each time he saves it. The key here is upload. You're only being charged for how much you're uploading each time. So if he's just adding a megabyte of a paragraph, you know, like one megabyte, um, then he's only going to have that one megabyte charged as the monthly upload. Now, one word of caution. If he has a desire to someday publish a book or some other project with his daily notes, I really wouldn't recommend Evernote. As you saw, the export file types are limited and it does not export directly to Word or to a .txt file. But he could uh, use it certainly for his record keeping. I think Evernote is a great solution for that. Now, do you have any old home movies, footage of oral history interviews, or any other type of family history video that you want to keep track of? Well, recently I heard from Ricky, and he had this question. How do I add video to Evernote? Well, thankfully, it's really easy to add your video to Evernote. So if you're using it on your computer, here's what you do. Open up Evernote, click the New Note button, Open Windows Explorer and resize it so that you can see both the window and Evernote, and then locate the desired video on your hard drive. Just click on the video and drag and drop it right onto the new note. That's it. You can also add video that you've taken with your mobile device if you have the free Evernote app installed. To do that, just locate the video. So for example, on your iPhone, you might open the video app, tap the share icon, Select email and start to type EVER. That's going to tap into your unique Evernote email address that's associated with your Evernote account and it should just autofill. And then tap send. This is going to send the video to Evernote as a new note. Now keep in mind that video files are really pretty large, so they're going to take up a lot of your monthly upload limit. If you're an Evernote Premium member, then that's not so much of a problem. Now, do you need more help using Evernote for your family history? We're here to help here at Genealogy Gems. My Evernote for Genealogist Quick Reference Guide is available for both Mac and Windows. You're going to want to grab the one that goes with the computer operating system that you use at home. And of course, our Genealogy Gems Premium members at our website, genealogygems.com, get exclusive access to full-length videos on how to use Evernote for family history. 
We cover lots of topics. These are some of my most popular classes, including how the genealogist can remember everything with Evernote, how to organize your research with Evernote, making Evernote effortless, collaborative genealogy with Evernote, and using Evernote to create a research plan. We will take you right through the process. Now, if you're not a premium member yet, what are you waiting for? The Evernote video series alone makes premium membership worth the low cost of the annual fee. So head over to genealogygems.com and click on premium in the menu and you can get started. And of course, you can check out our free blog and the free Genealogy Gems podcast, which is also available in iTunes as well. And if you have a question about finding your family history, I hope that you'll click the contact button over there at our website and send me your question. You might just get your answer right here on the Genealogy Gems YouTube channel. Thanks so much for listening, friend. I'll talk to you soon.